can't drive this ridiculous thing. Can you shoot? You are uh, one of the new guys in this movie, and I think you have the unenviable task of joining a group that felt really tight-knit the first time out. Did you have trouble sort of finding your place amongst them? Yeah, of course I was worried about that, but uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, Red One, so I already knew the color of this movie, so I could adjust a little bit easier. And also, I was, uh, I was worried to work with those kind of legend uh, actors and actresses, but they made me they made me so comfortable on set. So um, yeah, that was helpful. You're the bad guy in this movie, mm -hmm. and you've been the bad guy in other things too. I wonder if it's fun being the person that the audience sort of roots against. Yeah, normally actors they usually enjoy um, if the audience like it. Of course, that's, yeah, that's that's true, but I don't like. Kill somebody. <laughs> I, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about uh, the martial arts and the choreography. You've mm -hmm. got a couple of good fight scenes. My basic martial art is Taekwondo because I learned it since I was four years old. My basic moves and skills. But of course I need to uh, practice and train a lot uh, in every uh, project. You know, there's a, a refrigerator uh, door scene. Mm -hmm. So I need to practice those kind of thing with, with handcuffs. So um, yeah, it was fun. I have to ask that origami thing at the mm -hmm. beginning of the movie, mm -hmm. can that actually work? Yeah, of course. I realized it's really strong. <clears throat> when I fold it, mm -hmm. it's really strong. So I realized it could be really dangerous. What do you prefer, the uh, martial arts or the guns? I mean, there's one scene where you have this huge gun and you're just I, I can't even imagine how many bullets we got fired from it, but uh, it went on for quite a time. Uh, I prefer gun fighting, because I, I don't need to train hard. <laughs> <laughs> for breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.